So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's session, we are going to talk about the PIB news from 23rd and 24th of November 2022. So I hope your RBI grade B preparations are going well. And now please don't wait for the notification. Bar bar mat poocho ki notification kab aayega. When you know the notification will come, then why are you not studying? I am again requesting you. I am bar aap logo se bol raha hon. Please, please. Don't just wait for the notification, start your study from today itself. All right, and all the very best for that. But before we begin, let me tell you that if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. All right. So let's talk about the very first question, guys, which is about the National Gopal Ratna Awards 2022. So Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Daring, which is headed by Mr. Purushottam Rupala. Uh, this ministry has announced the National Gopal Ratna Awards 2022 and you have to identify incorrect statement about the awards. All right. So let's talk about these awards. So remember, guys, these awards, these awards are uh, being given to uh, encourage and recognize the efforts of all the individuals who are working in the dairy sector. Now, what is the meaning of individuals? Here, what is the type of these individuals in Koya Award? So, these are farmers, rearing indigenous animals, AI technicians, dairy cooperative society, milk production com uh, producing company, uh, dairy federation, etc. Right? So, all of these are being awarded to encourage and to reward, to give them reward. Basically, you have performance and reward karne ke liye, unko award karne ke liye, these awards have been given. And remember, these awards were instituted under the Rashtri Gokul Mission. Right, Rashtra Gokul Mission ke under these awards were instituted, and the categories. What are how many categories? In how many categories the awards uh, have been given? So there are three categories. Number one, best dairy farmer rearing indigenous cattle or buffaloes, best artificial insemination uh, technician, then best dairy cooperative or milk producing company or Dairy Farmer Producer Organization. In three categories, my award milta hai and total nine awards are given. Right, top three people. Right, is me top three ko milta hai. Top three are awarded here in this category. In this category also top three and in this category also top three. So total nine awards are given. Three awards in each category. Right, the winner, the top ranker, the first ranker has been awarded with rupees five lakh cash prize. Second rank ko milte hai three lakh rupees. 3 lakhs and the third, the person, the individual, the organization which is awarded uh, the third rank is provided with rupees 2 lakh cash prize along with a certificate and a memento. Right? Certificate or memento, Tino ko milta hai, first, second, third, Tino ko. Alright? So that is all about these awards and of course you don't have to remember the name of the awardees because 9 awardees hai, so not important for the examination. Coming back to the question, incorrect statement identify karna hai. It is one of the highest national awards in the field of livestock and dairy sector. This is absolutely correct. No problem in it. It is instituted under Rashtra Gokul Mission. Yes. Uh, it is conferred in three categories. Ye bhi sahi hai. And total 12 awards are given each year. Is that so? Abhi abhi humne padha kitne awards di jate? Nine. So nine awards, three in each category are given every year. So option D guys will be the correct answer to this question. Alright, what is the correct answer? Option D. Because we have to identify the incorrect statement. And please focus on the word whether you have been asked uh, to identify correct statement or the incorrect statement. Alright. Aage chalte question number 2 pe. Which is about Mission Amrit Sarova. It was launched in April 2022 with an aim to build 75 Amrit Sarovas in all the districts across the country. The question is how many Amrit Sarovars are targeted to be built under this mission by 15th August 2023. Matlab, agle saal, 15 agast kitne Amrit under this mission. So remember Amrit Sarovar has been launched this year only 2022 and the target is to build 75 Amrit Sarovar across the country and the uh, you know the, the broader objective the main objective of this uh, mission is to eliminate the problems of water scarcity in the rural areas. All right. To overcome the water crisis in rural areas of the country. It was launched this year in the year 2022. Remember, this mission is a collaborative effort 
effort of these four ministries, which are Ministry of Rural Development, Ministry of Jal Shakti, Ministry of Panchayat Diraj, and Ministry of Environment, Forest, and Climate Change. All right. And technical collaboration is being provided by BISEGEN, which is Bhaskara Charya National Institute of Space Application and Geo Informatics. Geo tagging is being done. The Amrit Sarovar is being built, and then uh, uh, geo tagging is being done by BISEGEN. Geo tagging of that Amrit Sarovar. All right. And total, if I talk about the total number of targets, see 75 Amrit Sarovars in a district. But how many uh, total? Kitne Amrit Sarovar total banai jayenge? So total 50,000 Amrit Sarovars will be constructed. The target is that uh, total 50,000 Amrit Sarovars will be constructed by 15th of August 2023. That is 2023. All right. And therefore, the correct answer is what option C? 50,000. All right, I hope this question is clear. But moving ahead to question number three. The phase one of Young Water Professional Program was launched in 2021. I hope if you are a continuous student, then you will know that the Young Water Professional Program was launched with which one. It is aimed at providing a structured platform for capacity building of young water professionals with strategic and long-term investment to support the water management reforms in India. This program is a collaboration between India and which country? The question is this only that Young Water Professional Program is a program between India and which country? So remember guys, it is a program between India and Australia. And the major objective of this program is to address India's water challenges. To address what? To address India's water challenges. Now these water challenges, how they will be addressed? So for that, young people are being provided training. Young water professionals are being provided training under this program so that, uh, you know, they will be skilled enough. Okay, so they will be skilled enough that they will tackle the water crisis in our country, which water challenges they can tackle. Right? To provide a structured platform for capacity building of young water professionals and to provide them with the required knowledge, skills, attitude. Right? Everything will be provided to them so that they can address the water challenges of the country. All right? Its phase one was launched in 2021. The implementing agency is National Hydrology Project, which works under the Ministry of Jal Shakti, along with Western Sydney University and IIT Guwahati. And do remember one more point that IIT Guwahati is the lead of Australia India Water Centre, right? Young Water, jo, uh, Young Water Professional Program, hai, it is being implemented through India Australia Water Centre, right? Which is the uh, which has been uh, led by IIT Guwahati. Okay. <coughs> and therefore, guys, the correct answer is what option B? Australia. Moving ahead to question number four. Which ministry or ministries recently had organized a special millet luncheon with ambassadors or high commissioners of different countries appointed to India in New Delhi? This millet luncheon, basically, it was organized uh, with all the ambassadors and high commissioners, which are present in India, right, which were appointed by their respective countries in India. All right. Now, this was organized to spread awareness about Indian millets, right. And we all know that 2023 is the international year of millets, right. And it was considered as uh, to be celebrated as international year of millets on the recommendation of India only. And that is why the responsibility, the onus is on India to spread awareness about the millets, right? And to spread such awareness, this millet luncheon was conducted, right? And it was organized by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare and Ministry of External Affairs. This is the only question that can be asked from this news, right? And therefore, coming back to the question, the correct answer will be option D again, A and B, all right? Moving ahead to question number Question number yaha pe missing ho gaya hai. Koi baat nahi. Main PDF mein correct kar dunga. This portal has been launched by Department of Promotion of Industry and uh, Internal Trade, which works under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. It serves as a national mentorship platform by Startup India. It is also a one-stop solution to facilitate mentorship for startups across diverse sectors, functions, stages, geographies, and backgrounds. It also provides AI-based matchmaking to startups to get personalized guidance on growth and strategy. What is the name of the portal? So everything regarding the portal is already given in the question. 
this portal is basically to provide all types of support to the startups and it is it is being controlled it is being managed by department for promotion of industry and internal trade all right and the name of the portal guys is marg right what is the name it is marg and marg has a full form as well it is mentorship advisory mentorship advisory assistance resilience and growth resilience and growth all right that is the full form of marg do remember the full form of marg as well because every word has a meaning in marg so in the examination they can also ask you what does a stand for in marg right so mentorship advisory assistance resilience and growth please write down in the pdf esq full form hai all right and therefore the correct answer is option b mark all right and baki aage explanation mein bhi yahi sari cheeze hain jo ki abhi humne padhi this portal is basically to provide all round support to the startups and it is being managed by dpiit that is it question number 6 hona chahiye tha isko ministry of jal shakti announced the monthly awards under jal jeevan sarvekshan 2022 identify incorrect statement so guys it is for the very first time that the monthly awards have been announced under jal jeevan sarvekshan now jal jeevan sarvekshan it is being implemented under jal jeevan mission of course <coughs> jal jeevan mission right and what is jal jeevan mission to provide tap water connection to all the rural households by the year 2024 all right jisko har ghar jal mission bhi bolte hain right so jal jeevan sarvekshan pehli baar monthly awards diye gaye hain that is why we are discussing about it and kyunki pehli baar hai isliye main isko discuss kar raha hu otherwise monthly awards aapko karne ki zarurat nahi hai in future right abhi agar november december mein kisi ka exam hai to unke liye ye important ho sakta hai theek hai so first talking about the jal jeevan sarvekshan what is it so basically under this jal jeevan sarvekshan the states and the cities are being incentivized to strive for better performance and improve the water service delivery in the respective states or uts or cities right this sarvekshan is being conducted on uh, in the in five categories number one aspirants these are those where this uh, tap water coverage is zero to less than 25% performers 25 to less than 50% achievers 50 to less than 75% high achievers 75 to less than 100% and front runners are those where coverage has been reached to 100% all right and it was for the very first time that monthly awards have been announced aur uske alawa quarterly or annually bhi diya jata hai and for you guys only the annually awards are important that is it theek hai but kyunki first time hai तो जो इंपॉर्टेंट कैटेगरीज है उनके बारे में पढ़ लेते हैं सिर्फ हम फ्रंट रनर्स पढ़ेंगे वेयर देयर इज 100 परसेंट कवरेज इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट इट इज अंबाला विच इज एट नंबर वन अंबाला इज इन हरियाणा नॉट पंजाब रोहतक एंड देन फरीदाबाद ऑल द थ्री डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स आर फ्रॉम हरियाणा इट इज क्वाइट सरप्राइजिंग एंड फास्टेस्ट मूविंग डिस्ट्रिक्ट फर्स्ट पे है लेह सेकेंड पे कारगिल बोथ आर इन लद्दाख इन थर्ड पे गैंगटॉक विच इज द कैपिटल ऑफ सिक्किम ठीक है That is it. इससे ज्यादा नहीं पढ़ना Now let's identify the incorrect statements. It was for the first time monthly awards were announced. Yes, correct. Top थ्री front runner districts, 100% परसेंट कवरेज आर फ्रॉम मध्य प्रदेश नो यही गलत हो गया द टॉप थ्री फ्रंट रनर जो थे डिस्ट्रिक्ट में ऑल वर फ्रॉम हरियाणा ऑल वर फ्रॉम हरियाणा सो दिस मस्ट बी द करेक्ट आंसर गाइज टू दिस क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन बी ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर Moving ahead to the next question, this must be question number seven. Precision farming development centers aim to develop and disseminate regionally differentiated technologies on precision farming, such as micro irrigation and high tech agriculture, and to maximize production and productivity per unit area, to enhance the socio economic conditions of farmers and end users. How many such centers have been set up by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare till now across the country? कितने Precise and farming development centers अभी तक हमारे देश में बनाए गए हैं सो द नंबर इज ट्वेंटी टू ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट वेर वॉज द थर्ड ग्लोबल हाई लेवल इन मिनिस्ट्रियल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन एंटी माइक्रोबायल रेजिस्टेंस ए एम आर 
held with the theme the amr pandemic from policy to one health action do you remember the uh, this theme right and remember it took place in muscat the capital of oman option d is the correct answer question number 9 which organization under ministry of education has prepared and published the book titled as india the mother of democracy it is quite important question guys it can be asked in your examination specially phase 1 mein pucha ja sakta hai ye it is indian council of historical research option c is the correct answer and such questions need no explanation and that is why there is only question and answer to it that's it usse zyada padhne ki zarurat hai hi nahi question number 10 with which organization national education society for tribal student which in short is nest iske bare mein humne pichli class mein hi padha tha if you guys remember it has collaborated to organize online workshop for emrs a club the model residential school it is a special type of school which is meant for uh, you know the tribal students right and there is a scheme emrs scheme under which these schools are being constructed across the country to provide uh, you know holistic education to the tribal students all right okay so with which organization nest has collaborated it has collaborated with microsoft option a is the correct answer and the last question for today question number 11 where was the 19th meeting of cop to the convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora which in short is cites 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 ka cop 19 aapko batana hai kahan pe hua tha so remember guys it is a convention which prohibits the illegal trade in endangered species or animals right it, it, Endangered species of plants and animals, right? It came into force in the year 1975. But the problem with this convention is that it is not binding on the parties. It is not binding on the parties, and that is the main problem with this convention. Till अगर कोई भी international law binding नहीं होगा, तो उसका कोई मतलब नहीं है. You all know कि जब तक कानून में सजा का प्रावधान नहीं होगा, तब तक आप भी चुपचाप से नहीं बैठोगे. ठीक है ना? तो This 19 COP took place in Panama City. Option C is the correct answer. And Secretariat of Sites is in Geneva. And Geneva, of course, is in Switzerland. All right. So that is all for today. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And I will see you in the next session on Wednesday. Till then, bye bye. Take care and God bless.